to wrap up our salmon video series with some review and final thoughts. At the Mountains to Sound Greenway Trust, we think it's really important that we take care of our Pacific Northwest salmon, and we do that by helping people be stewards of our landscape. Do you know what a steward is? Stewards are caretakers. At the Greenway Trust, we act as stewards of salmon by taking care of the riparian zones of salmon streams, planting native plants and removing invasive plants. Today, I want to spend some time talking about how you can be salmon stewards too. In this series, we've spent a lot of time talking about all the different things that salmon need in their habitat throughout their life cycle. From their start as eggs in a red, hatching into alvin, growing into fry, migrating to the ocean as smolt, spending a couple of years there as an adult, and returning back to their birth stream as spawners. What makes a salmon habitat healthy? Do you remember? Salmon need a stream that is curvy, with fist-sized cobbles and pebble-sized gravels on the bottom, and plenty of riffles to pull oxygen into the water. They need to have lots of native plants living in the riparian zone, that area along the stream, that provides shade and prevent erosion. And woody debris from those plants also falls into the water to form pools, those great hiding places for little fry. Salmon need lots of macroinvertebrates living in the stream for food, and we hope that many of those macroinvertebrates are from group one, that group that indicates high water quality. Salmon need water that is cold, clean, and clear, with a neutral pH and low phosphate to make sure their bodies stay healthy. We learned that salmon are a keystone species that more than a hundred other species rely on for their well-being, from bugs to eagles, orcas to trees. And people rely on salmon too, for their cultural significance to the indigenous peoples of the Northwest, their economic significance to Northwestern fisheries, and for the nutrition that they provide to all sorts of people in this region, maybe even you. And we learned that salmon and some of the species that rely on them are facing some threats. Pollution makes the water in streams unhealthy and can prevent salmon from living in them and dams block their ability to move up and down streams. Overfishing can damage their populations too, when people take more fish than the population can sustain. For these reasons and many others, only about two of the 5,000 eggs in a red survive to come back to that stream as spawners. Luckily, many of these problems are problems caused by people, which means that people can fix them. We can reduce our pollution, restore riparian zones, limit our fishing, and remove or redesign dams so that fish can get through. These are big solutions. And this week, I wanna challenge you to think of some smaller things that you could do yourself. To start thinking about that, first, think about what makes a healthy salmon stream and draw the healthiest salmon stream that you can. Then think of at least one thing that you could do to be a steward of our Pacific Northwest salmon and make our salmon streams healthier. I've started a drawing here to give you an idea of what to include. Make sure to think about the shape of the stream and what sorts of rocks are on the bottom. Draw the plants that should be in the riparian zone and the macroinvertebrates that you would find in high quality water. Draw any riffles and pools that you think should be in the stream, and make sure to include the materials that help build them, like woody debris. For the things you can't see, think of a creative way to include them. I drew test tubes on the side to show what the pH, phosphate, and temperature of my stream are, and I put oxygen bubbles in the water. Make sure to label everything you draw so that you know what it is and include as many details as you can. Is my stream complete? Does it have enough plants in the riparian zone? Enough woody debris? Enough bugs? How could you make yours even better than mine? Then think of at least one thing that you can do to help make our streams healthier and be a salmon steward. I wrote my way over here. 
And I said that to be a salmon steward, I will pick up trash in my neighborhood so it doesn't go into streams. You can borrow mine or come up with other ways. Send your drawings and your ways to help to education at mtsgreenway.org and we'll share some of your responses. We'll also share a list of our own ideas of ways to help make salmon streams healthy. Thank you so much for tuning in to our salmon video series. You made it to the end! We hope that you learned a lot and had some fun, and we are so excited to have you join us as Pacific Northwest Salmon Stewards. If you want to learn more about salmon or find a way to be a steward in your community, go to www.mtsgreenway.org. Have fun out there! <laughs>